very nice to be here. I'm Susan Katz, and I direct CC Arts Link's um, office in St. Petersburg, Russia, and our program, which we call um, Art Prospect. And um, Art Prospect is an ongoing program of residency exchanges, public art festivals, and educational programs in post-Soviet countries, which focuses on innovative ways that artists address social concerns, engage local communities, and transform urban environments. And we work in collaboration with um, 13 organizations in 10 countries in the region who all share our common goals and values. And through these programs, we, we saw that there's so much interesting work being done by artists and curators, and very little, bit, little is known about this work um, in the field of socially engaged art, either in the region or internationally. And so we decided to commission a um, research study about what is going on in the region. And we asked our partners to um, create these, um, get to the next part. Sorry, first I want to say what the name of this um, publication, which is called A Miracle or a Misunderstanding, Socially Engaged Practices in the Art Prospect Network Countries. And um, so we asked our, um, our partners to answer questions based on their experience, knowledge, and research about social practice art in their cities. And ask them questions about the history and practice today, the impact and perception, and resources and documentation. And we put these, this information together into a publication that um, is available both in English and in Russian online. And um, it has been divided into three sections. The first is called Pioneers and Practices. The second is called Perceptions and Responses. And the third is Resources and References. And so it's looking very closely at um, what happened in these countries and what's going on. And we also, it also includes four additional essays by artists and curators in these countries about specific projects that they worked on and issues that they deal with. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the pages from this publication and really encourage you to download it and take a look at it. It's available on um, two websites right now. And um, just to give you a taste of what this publication is about. So um, each of the profiles begins with a map showing people where these countries are located. And the first question we asked um, our partners was, what does socially engaged art mean in your region? And the answers that we got were quite varied. Um, here, this is um, a quote from our partner um, in Baku about what socially engaged art means. Um, so they talked about the history and some practices of the region, and it also includes a lot of really wonderful visual elements um, in the publication. This is a, a um, picture of a project which I believe took place about 15 or 20 years ago by a group of artists in Azerbaijan who were doing a project um, about the environment. And um, this shows, um, again, Ukraine and talking about the definition of socially engaged art, which they see as much more related to social interaction and politics. And um, they s talked about um, socially engaged art being very much related to participatory activists and research practices playing an important role in contemporary art and how they're closely related to the current processes that they're going through in the Ukraine. Um, in, uh, in Armenia, our partners defined socially engaged art in a much more political way and talked about political art and activism. And um, this is a photo from one of their projects, um, again, showing how for, in the context of Armenia, socially engaged art is very much about politics and activism. The second part of the um, publication focuses on perceptions and responses to socially engaged art, how both the public and arts community looks at socially engaged art and how the media responds to it. Um, and our um, partners in Kyrgyzstan talked about um, a project that they did as part of the Art Prospect Public Art Festival and how um, they were very surprised by the public response to the works that were put up. 
Um, in Georgia, it was interesting that our partners said that the arts community is generally very skeptical about socially engaged art. And in Uzbekistan, um, they said that the public reacts positively to independent artists while the reaction of the press is defined by the extent of their own boldness. So of course we very much found that the definitions of socially engaged art varied depending on the context that the artists were working in. Um, and um, I hope that you will enjoy looking um, and reading about the different histories and practices in these countries. Um, the final part of the um, of each country profile includes references, which are very useful because it gives people information both about the organizations working in this field in these countries, but also often provides um, articles that um, give you more information about particular projects or time periods um, in each of the countries. So you can find the publication both on the CEC ArtsLink website, as well as the Art Prospect website. I just wanted to finish with a um, quotation from Victor Miziano, who wrote the introduction to the publication, and we got the name for the publication from this, and he said that socially engaged art in the former Soviet countries is either a miracle or a misunderstanding, for there are too many reasons why it should not exist. There are too many social, political, and discursive circumstances occasioned by the post-Soviet condition that should have mitigated against its emergence. However, things are more complicated and more paradoxical than that. So I hope that you will all take a look at the publication and please share um, your comments with us about the publication. It's, we're, it's really at the beginning um, of investigating what's going on in these countries, so we very much hope that people will send us more information which we can include on our websites and continue this study. Thank you. <laughs>